Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Gamakhala Makhole and you are my channel. To those who just subscribed and to my subscribers, my day ones, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, it's good to see you. To those that haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and help my channel grow. So this vlog is my first time for everything type of vlog because actually I'm going to pay time for the first time so I'm super super excited although I had like a couple of hiccups this morning so it's an early flight currently it's like 7.43 a.m. in Johannesburg and I ordered like a bolt which is like Uber Didi to take me to the airport this morning then the lady gets there and says oh are you paying cash or card and I'm like card and she's like oh I really need her cash because she needs to get fuel and I'm like this sounds like a personal problem and her personal problem then became my problem because she had to cancel the ride and then I luckily got my mom to take me but it was like such an inconvenience because in my head I'm actually already late I left the house a little bit later than I should have waiting for her to arrive um, then to find out she can't actually take me so that's just a little bit of like a thing with both it's like the first ride was good the second ride honestly it didn't even really happen so not much of a complaint but it's something I now have become aware of since coming back home anyways it's the netball world cup and it's being hosted in Cape Town so I was like this is such a great opportunity to go support the girlies at the world world cup because I was like the next one is in Sydney what's the chances I'll probably be able to go you never know anything's possible but this is the opportunity now so I took it um, it's a spontaneous trip this was such an unplanned trip but it was something I saw like while watching TV and being like oh wait we're hosting the World Cup and I was like I could actually go and support the girls so I took that opportunity um, so right now it's actually raining in Cape Town when I look at my phone it looks like it's going to be a rainy weekend and it's very stressful because it's also my first time in Cape Town so I'm a bit annoyed that my first time in Cape Town will be rainy and this kind of happens to me when I'm in China trying to go to Xiamen all the time it rains so it's a little bit annoying but it'll be a fun trip I know it'll be a fun trip so let's stay tuned and let's see how it goes I just need to make a couple of stops when I get there so like the first one is I need to buy the fan gear since I didn't find it in Johannesburg. But I'm also like interested in buying I'm also leaning towards buying the rugby shirt actually it's really nice I like the design it's just really pricey so I'm still kind of contemplating if I should do it or not do it um, yeah so let's see how it goes guys I'm super super excited
Hey guys, I'm back. So, I arrived in Cape Town. I'm so excited! Yay! The only thing is the rain. So, it's basically been raining and it seems like it's going to be a rainy weekend. Like, like, let me show you actually. Let me show you guys. The outside is really nice. I'm going to show you. It's like just rain, wetness, Ish. but I'm not going to let that ruin my weekend. So, as I said earlier, <laughs> let me just fix my setup and see. That is too bright at the back. Give me a second. Right, much better so as I said before I'm here for the Nepal World Cup and it was kind of fun because in the lobby downstairs I met like a mom and daughter and a friend who are here also for the Nepal World Cup being like we all came on the same flight actually um, so this hotel the name what is the name of this hotel one second okay so the name of the hotel that i'm staying at is called aha harbor bridge hotel and suites uh i really like the room so i'm going to give you guys a room tour don't worry about that took one already actually and i do recommend this place especially because of i will be going to the ctcc which is actually like right across the road so it's a walking distance for me so I don't need to actually worry about getting a car or anything. It's also close to the V&A waterfront, which I have to head down there to Sportsman Warehouse and go get the merch that I've actually been searching for. But also, one of the things you realize about having an unplanned trip is that you forget things. And I forgot to take a coat or at least like a jacket. I'm just basically wearing, this is the only thing I have in terms of warmth. And I realized, it's actually really windy. I do have to go buy a coat or a jacket, something. Like I need to buy something so I can be warm. I hate unexpected spending, but I'll have to sacrifice to be warm. Anyways, I will be taking you guys around. I'm really excited to be in Cape Town my first time. The flight was really good. No complaints from my side. I got to the hotel early they let me check in early because it's 12.02 and they just said oh let's call housekeeping and see if your room is ready and my room was ready so I checked in early so I'm happy about that right now the only thing I want to do is unstore my wig like I need to actually glue it down because it's really windy and I'd hate for it to fly off it's the only wig I came with actually on this trip bad move I normally at least pack another one but yeah, I'm so excited. My first time in Cape Town. Oh, I feel like I could live here. I did say I want to live in Cape Town. I might extend my trip. It's giving me extend the trip, hey? Anyways, see you guys. Staring out the window, I'm 
Setting up, my hair is fine. Yeah, like nothing. It will definitely not be moved by the wind. The wind shan't shan't move my hair. But now I need to head over to VNA Waterfront to go and get my merch, and then I need to eat. I haven't eaten. Like my flight was early in the morning, so I didn't get a chance to eat this morning. I just came in and tried to see straight away if I could check in or leave my luggage here so at least that part is done and then i'm gonna go get food where i'm going to eat yet i don't know i did say it's a spontaneous trip so i'll just be doing things i'll figure things out as i move because i feel like that will be more fun for me because of the weather i will not do sightseeing i don't think so i don't think i'll go to table mountain i don't think i will go wine tasting I want to that's the other thing is that I actually do want to do these things that's why I'm like maybe I should stay for like an extra day or two we'll see we'll see but let's head over to the any waterfront and let's see if I can find my stuff in the zone, you nervous when you're gone. I say I'm not home. See your face like you're my favorite song. Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone. I wonder if you know, or do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow. So I found a cafe that has like a cap. I'm happy, but now because it's, I forgot my jacket, I'm gonna see at H&M if I can find the jacket. This is so cute. This orange is in season, orange is in season, and this pink ooh, Barbie is giving us life. So let's see if I can find a jacket at H&M, but at least I got a cap, so I bought a cap. I'll show you guys exactly what I bought, but so far, this mall is full as back to the hotel I'm so just a little bit frustrating just a tad bit because I didn't end up buying a jacket because I didn't like any of them and the prices for the ones I did like were just way too high I felt it was a little bit ridiculous to pay about 3,000 to almost 4k for a jacket you know so I was just like mm, no so I rushed home now to get ready because it's actually about three o'clock if i'm fine sorry let me switch my phone so if i'm yeah it's about like 3 10 so and the game starts at 4 p.m so i don't want to be late even though it's really close but i really just don't want to miss anything so yeah let me show you guys what i bought so excited so i ended up buying the cap for the girls for the netball if you guys can see it hey okay i moved out the way so i ended up buying the cap really like it because the hoodie they had a triple xl and i didn't want the triple xl and then i didn't like any other thing and i was like okay the cap is pretty simple it's also marked down so i said that i can buy but gang gang i also ended up buying let me see if i can i just want to have that price here i'm gonna have that price tag the South African Springbok shirt. So they're playing tonight at 5 p.m. against Argentina. So this game is actually happening in Johannesburg. So I was like, and it's the World Cup this year anyway in France. So it makes sense for me to have this shirt because 
as I said before, I did have one, got ruined. Now I did want a new one. And here it is. But the one thing I actually, that was not planned, that I actually did end up buying, which I already opened, but I'm gonna try package it again really quickly for you guys. It's pretty exciting for me because when this brand launched, I was not in the country. So I've never tried it, so it's my first time trying it. House of BNG, the Nectar Rose. Okay, so I already opened one. <laughs> I already opened one, but this is nice. I was like, mm -mm. it's actually really good. It's really, really good, but I really do like the packaging. And inside, when you open it, there are like four cans. I just don't want to move my camera. I work. Oh, I can do it that way. By the way, yeah, actually easier. There are like four cans inside. I just don't, I really don't want to move the camera. But I really do like this. Congrats, Benang. I like it a lot. Uh, so, anyways, I need to rush over. I'm just going to watch South Africa versus. Who are they playing against again? Oh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, there's, oh yeah, South Africa versus Sri Lanka. That's the only game I'm going to watch. After that game, I will find a place because I still haven't eaten. So my guess is probably I'll eat at the hotel. Hopefully they'll play the game. And then I'll watch uh, Argentina and South Africa, the rugby game. Uh, have dinner and probably, probably go out for a drink. I don't know, like I saw this rooftop restaurant, but it's still pretty bad the weather. It's so rainy. So I, I it's giving stay indoors. I, the, the thing that I really came for is the netball. I did that. Any other thing, I don't care. But I also don't want to waste this opportunity in Cape Town. Uh, that's it from my side. Catch you guys later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not calling Dinner was fun. I'm just tired. Portia came with her cousin. So we sat together, just had a girls chit chat. It was cool. You'll see Portia tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be with Gwena, Lele and Porsche. Um, it just happened that we all happened to be in Cape Town at the same time. Um, I'm just tired. I'm really just tired. So I'm calling it a night. But the food is great here. Yeah. The restaurant. Love it. See you guys tomorrow. Second hand my hair in my
else but her I find myself in the zone And nervous when you go So I say I'm not home See your face like you're my favorite song Should I send an email at Good morning! Yay! Day 2 of my Cape Town trip I can't wait, I'm so excited The weather's actually looking a little bit better this morning so, so far, it'll probably rain, but right now it's looking good. Uh, I had breakfast. I'm just trying to finish up getting ready. I'm in a little bit of a rush because Portia and I were on the phone and we were like, oh, I think we should do the Cape Town Red Bus tour and possibly take the Blue Route and get off by Constantia, if I'm saying it correctly, I'll double check to do the wine tasting it's so exciting i really can't wait but we did not buy tickets yet so we'll buy tickets when we get there and we can catch the bus from like the aquarium close to the vna waterfront so i'm in a like a little bit of a of a rush this morning because i'm supposed to meet at 11 25 and it's basically 11 10. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to be late, but it's actually very noisy right now outside here. So I should get going and I'll catch you guys on the red bus. Nothing to discuss, oh, cause I take my way without and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me happy adult, oh. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind that's with the talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. Mm, I know holy, and I know that they're both, like the Baba Fry, oh. done with our foot constantia wine tasting and then we're gonna head back into the city of Cape Town so we can get ready to go to Rand and I am not taking the camera with me why would you not? do you trust Red? I do Portia trusts Red I feel like I don't trust Red why would you not? okay so I'll bring the camera with me Okay, I'm going to take the camera with it. I'll bring the camera with me so I can vlog it around so you guys can see it. It's going to be my first time there and your first time there? Yes, definitely. It's also her first time, but Lele highly recommends this place. He even booked a table. So <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> he really did. He booked a table. So we're going to head over to Rand's. The wine tasting is it's, its good. I mean, it was like five different wines. We paired it with chocolate. Um, and then we did a wine tour. That was... If I had to rate that out of five, I would give it a two. One. Portia. Not so good. <laughs> no. She's saying no. Zero balance. <laughs> I think the wine tasting, I think the tour would be fun in the summer because you can walk through the vineyards where you can see the grapes and all. But right now it's winter so we can't do that. But the, no, not the wine tasting, the tour. So I wouldn't, it's something you can miss, you can do without it, to tell you the truth. You can actually do without it. So we're going to head out. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I take my wife without and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me happy adult, oh. I no go feed the girl. I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind that's with the talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulated my love, oh. Hey guys, <laughs> we're back. So day two comes to an end, which actually also marks the end of my spontaneous trip to Cape Town, which almost got extended, but I'm, I headed home. I'm actually like, no, I'm going to head home. Um, so after the wine tasting, we headed back to Porsche's side, which was Camps Bay, to get ready to go to Rand's. And when I got there, there were actually just like no cameras. So I was just like, okay, that's okay. I wasn't so pressed about it. It is a really great spot. Definitely would say if you're going to go there, go there with somebody who is familiar with the place. And especially like the club because it's really fun, but it's easier like to navigate, like book a table or know where to buy stuff. But the really friendly staff, great music, highly recommend it. So tomorrow I'll be leaving Cape Town. <laughs> I'm actually really sad. I like it here a lot. I'm headed back to Johannesburg and I'll catch you guys on my way. I'm actually sad. I liked Cape Town a lot. It's so beautiful. Everyone's been really friendly and helpful here. But yeah, you gotta call it. I gotta call it. So see you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Day three and my last day in Cape Town. So sad, but this is where I end the vlog because it's time for me to head back to Johannesburg. I'm sad, I really liked Cape Town a lot. It's so beautiful. Every time I wake up and I see the views, I'm like, Oh, do I have to go? But it's time for me to head back. I would definitely book this hotel again. And I would also definitely, definitely book the Cape Town Red Bus again. It's worth it. It's worth, it's not even like that expensive, I feel, because if we paid about 275. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the correction. I'll make a note. But it's so worth it because it's a full day pass and it takes you around Cape Town depending on the route you want, blue or red route and you can hop off the bus and hop on again like depending on if this is where you want to stop and explore that place and then hop back on to the next bus to take you back to your starting point or to take you to another place that's something like when I come back to Cape Town I'm definitely doing it again it's really actually my favorite like it's, it might be the only thing I did but it's actually my favorite thing to do I, I'm, the only thing I'm sad about is not having tried a restaurant, a seafood restaurant to be precise. Uh, I'll be back because every time I asked, I was like, hey, where's the best seafood restaurant to go to? Nobody could give me an answer. Actually, most people are steak people here, then they would be seafood. So I was like, oh, that sucks. But yeah, it comes to the end. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Share, share, share. Tell your friends, tell your family. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.